think you are. Who do you think you are? How fucking dare you? Are you out of your fucking mind? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? How fucking dare you? Are you out of your fucking mind? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Who do you think you are? 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 How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you? Ah, it is a good morning, Samantha. It is good morning to you. Good morning to all the lovely support group members. Hello. Yes, welcome support group members. Yes, hello. How are you doing today? Who? so many options. <laughs> I did, yes. I had several. I just don't use them that often because they're quite low, but that's okay. We can make it work. Mm -hmm. And I think we did this morning. Yeah. Who? Yes. Hold on, wait. Let us know if the low five is too low. Yes, yes, yes. Let me know if you if the if it's too high, if it's too low, if you need it adjusted, which way it needs to go. <laughs> Shallow, thank you so much for being a member for five months. We do appreciate you. The one and only Puss and Boots. So glad you're live because I really need a laugh. Much love to Yabba and Sam and the support group. Hello, everyone. I hope everyone is having a good morning this morning. We are here for a little bit of a different show. I just want to say hello to everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. It's been a You're long. You're low. I'm low. But you probably are. Turn that lo-fi down a little. Just a little too loud. Wait a minute. Which one am I? Am I one? I have no idea. What about now? Do you hear Sam me now? Sam is very quiet. She am turned I good? Me down. Ach you know what? I'm not. <laughs> don't ask them for feedback. We'll be here all day adjusting volumes. I've been asleep and I'm going to the beach this morning. Love y'all bitches. And we love you too, mm. Sarah. Thank you so much for the support. And let me give you a sound bite. There we go. Who do you think you are? <laughs> um, somebody in the chat asked, did somebody happen with DC? Did something happen with DCDG? We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get to exactly why we're here, what we're going to talk about, who we're going to discuss, what's on the roster today, Sham. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> you know what's fun? Let's do our morning hellos. Let's go ahead. Let's take some time out, okay? PMA, hello. Indie, wildflowers. Fighting for animals, hello. Steph, crack noir. Frosty the Homan. I'm just me, Dubs TV. Uh, you soul princess. Mm -hmm. That's right, Julia. D DC sound bites only today. Good morning, Milky. B yes, B in B honor. T -T. It is a holiday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ida, hello. Postaloni, Castaway Kitty. Pamela May, Lioness, Juliet, Milky, BTP, Tweet T. Conspiracy, bruh. This is conspiracy, bruh. CS. Boy, oh boy. Chris, Stephanie, Nisi, Nisi. Uh, and there with the chat. There it goes. Rachel Mary, good to see you hey, this Rachel morning. Hey, uh, speaking of Rachel's, shout out to Rachel Langley. You know what? Rachel Langley sent me a package, and I haven't even got to text her because we got bombarded yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, <laughs> the poor thing, the poor deer is still out. She's down and out. One of our own support group members is down and out. So please make sure we send lots of extra love to Rachel, who is still recovering from some pretty major surgery that she had mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get into details, but Rachel, we love you. We're thinking about you. We did get our package. Every year since I've been on YouTube, Rachel, I've known Rachel, right? She's been around since the beginning of time. And she always, every holiday season, sends me um, a box of ornaments from Hallmark, the Hallmark mm, ornament. Nice one. She sends Very me ornaments, and she well. always sends me a mother and daughter ornament. So mm. the last like 
is it six years now five or six years that you know i've got these ornaments for mommy and you know you were on the YouTubies for a long time, huh? For a long time, yes. We have been here for a long time, mm -hmm. and we're still dealing with some of the same bullshit from the beginning, shockingly enough. Not for much longer. No, no, not Did for much. Did you read Theme Park Goals, uh, member of my sketch, read that? Who do you, th absolutely, mm -hmm. Theme Park Girl, absolutely. Thank you so much for being a member for 11 a months. Mm -hmm. We do appreciate you. Tell her we appreciate her. We appreciate you. Long time no see, Theme Park Girl. Who do you think you are? Sorry, not Uncut sorry. Gems Nancy P says, sorry I'm late. I didn't think you were going to be live. That's right. Schedules got rearranged today. Yes, we made time. Sorry, not sorry. Welcome to the shit show. Thank you so much for joining. Who do you think you Sam, are? I gotta tell you something though. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the lo-fi music. It's I don't completely, either. It's really racking. It's there. distracting. I think we've got you know we poked the bear a little bit there. Okay, we're gonna. Hold cut. on, wait, pause real quick. I want to go back to Rachel Marie in the chat. Uh, Rachel Marie DMs <gasps> me yesterday. Don't worry, she says. Don't worry about <sighs> the uh, email that she sent you months ago. <sighs> it was about her baby's name, and she has since <gasps> you didn't tell settled me on it. You yeah. didn't tell me it was well, about the baby's name. Well, we had a lot name. going on. I just found out last night. Oh my she God. Me. We had a lot going on last night, Rach Marie. I didn't want to burden you with it. Um, <laughs> and we were up late, had a lot of, a lot, a lot of things going on yesterday. <laughs> yes, uh, anyhow, but I think it's, she told me, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you. Okay, go ahead and tell me. The baby's name. She uh, settled on it. Yes. She's having a little girl, as you know. Yes. The baby's name will be Remy <gasps> Chantel. I love that. Say it again. <laughs> Come again, Remy Chantel with an E. That's not real. No, for real. Ask no, her, Rachel Marie. Lying. There she is. She's lying. Yeah, no way. Real. No fucking way. Did you expect me to believe that she's naming her? Rach yes, she is. Rachel Marie, confirm. I swear. Say it's it again. A, like Say the baby's name it's like again. It's like a family and friend name. That's why she wanted uh -huh. your advice on it. She she was oh. very torn on it, but yeah. it is a family. Uh -huh. It's a name. great name. Wink, <laughs> wink. <laughs> Remy is the first name though, which I think is absolutely adorable. And Rach Marie, we will love your little girl, regardless. <laughs> How could you imagine the debate between her and her husband when her husband's like, you know, she he wants to use the name Chantel, and she's like. Uh, well, honey. actually, there's an act, there's an issue with that. <laughs> you know the, you know the fat lady that I watch online that I hate watch. Well, better. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm -hmm. uh, 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 that was great. I loved your reaction because the smile literally did just drop from your face. <laughs> yeah, because I love the name Remy. That's so cute. It is. Know, and the you so go on. No Remy. wonder she wanted me to read the yeah. freaking email. Yeah, you oh suck. My. We suck. I, I, I uh, threw our, I threw us at her feet. <sighs> At her mercy. Sorry about that, Rachel Marie. And it's Chantel with an E. <laughs> See, she like confirmed. that helps any. Oh, it's her sister's name, apparently. It's a beautiful yeah. name. It's lovely. I hate that for your sister. It is what it is. I hate that for your sister. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we are going to get there. Uncut Nancy Gems. Give us just a moment. Thank you so much for the support and the reminder. You said Uncut Nancy Gems. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What's her name? Let's just call her Nancy. Thank you, you Nancy. You know what? To be fair. Chat. I might, I might be a little loopy today. Yeah. I have had not that much sleep. Very I was a little, little sleep, um, yeah. uh, what's the word? We were busy last night. Maybe a little manic. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little manic. It's my son's first day back to school. I'm free. Chantel's mm. French Lovers Retraining Order. Congratulations. Congratulations. To all yes. the mothers and daddies out there celebrating back to school. This is mm. for you. I remember when Chance first went to kindergarten and, you know, I had to do the whole separation thing because, boy, I did not. I really, you know, you know how it is when they're little and it's your first one, you know. And I tell you, after that, it's really easy. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you. Go on out there now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See ya. Anyway, so I got to tell the people this story about this poster. All right. Before we get oh into the other God. shit. Yeah, yeah. Listen, let's go ahead and break the ice with this. Today is my last day being able to watch here live back to teaching tomorrow. I'll still be here in spirit and we'll watch the uploads. Love this group. That's what we call replay gang, Susie. That's gang, right. gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. And yes, good luck on your venture back to the uh, classroom there. Oh, while we're celebrating back to school. She's like, it's, it's just mm -hmm. beginning for mm -hmm. me, you know. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> hey, Queen. Good to see you. 
I'm looking forward to Monday when my girls go back. I love them, but damn, it's time. You know what? And it's not so much for me. It's because my kids really aren't, they don't, they're not bad. They don't aggravate so much for my little girl, especially she gets bored. You, 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 they get bored that you run out of stuff to do to entertain them with the summertime. So with school, that's, you know, that's what, that's what they need to go out and, mm-hmm. and be around their friends and be around the, you know, that kind of environment. You can't expect just to be home 24 seven. I mean, I get the kids that are, you know, homeschooled, but you know, well, they work things into the curriculum where they get out. Yes. They used to, yeah. Extra they, activities. They meet stuff. with other homeschool kids and care and that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> laughing my off what's her name mm-hmm. who do you think you are mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you need to get a sound bite of her saying go fuck yourself because she loves that one also get one of him saying cisgender straight white male <laughs> <laughs> will do Steph don't worry who we're definitely going to be working on the soundboard um, for sure coming up we need to definitely add some sound bites but listen Thank you for the super chat. So I don't know uh, uh, how many of you all caught the live stream. Um, Sam was doing a live stream. And the night before, <clears throat> Raylan had lost a tooth, right? She had lost a tooth. She's my last kid. I got no more kids that are going to be losing teeth or whatever. So I was like, <clears throat> whatever. Tooth Fairy's going to drop her 20, right? Tell yeah. the truth. She got a 20 spot because we forgot till we were in bed that <laughs> night. And all we had was a friggin' 20. <laughs> Which you borrowed from your son. Because, yeah, I didn't have cash on me. So I tested Chance. You got any money in your wallet? He's like, I got 20. <laughs> Give it to me. And I looked at her and said, I swear for God, if you give that girl a 20 spot for that. And it wasn't even like a big tooth or anything. It was like a sliver of a little yeah, bottom tooth. Yeah, she's a baby. Whatever. There's anyway. not going to be any more. So it wasn't a big deal. I would have gave her 20 for regardless. For a trust tiny me. little tooth. Yeah, it's totally fine. She gets twenty bucks for every tooth she loses. What? Listen, whether or not I would have gave that girl twenty dollars, she would have still got that poster out no, of me right. one way or the other. You're okay, right. at least it's like her paying for it. Go you know ahead, what tell I mean? the whole story then. Okay, so I give the kid twenty bucks, right? And so she's she's she big, already knew what she wanted to. Yeah, so she's she's big time. You know, poppy co play whatever. Poppy play time. Poppy play time. Huggy mommy. Luggy. Yeah, mommy long legs, whatever bullshit. Y'all know we'd be talking about it in here. So anyway, she's been for she found their website, their actual. Uh, Poppy Playtime Co. website. Yeah, and they've got merch. She's real big on merch because she'll watch YouTubers and she'll talk about their merch and all this. So she's like, Mm -hmm. Poppy Playtime has merch. And so (laughs) when she got that $20, she went to sit down and we went on the iPad and she went to pick out something from the Poppy Playtime Mm -hmm. merch shop or whatever. So I'm looking at these prices and I'm like, wow, Ray, you got 20 bucks, dude. I don't know if that you can get anything. (laughs) She's like, how about that mommy long legs? It's like $60. I'm like, maybe for your birthday, you know, Mm -hmm. Christmas. <clears throat> this is definitely not um, I lost one tooth mm-hmm. type of uh, gift that you're going to get. Well, anyways, no, but is it? <laughs> yeah, well, well. <laughs> so she found um, a poster that she wanted to get. She was like, yeah, can I get that poster? And so it's some kind of Poppy Playtime poster. Nineteen ninety nine, Right. No, you know what? It was more than nineteen ninety nine, And I got a code for a discount and got like two or three dollars off or whatever. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I go to check out and the shipping is 15 bucks, right? Mm-mm, so I'm like, motherfucker. And I'm already committed. I've mm-hmm. already promised this kid this Poppy Playtime poster with the 20 bucks that she shouldn't have got for the one damn tooth in the first place, and right? And the funniest part is, is Raylan doesn't understand when, when Yava tells her the shipping's $15. She thinks yeah. she's got money coming she, back. how much I got left, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> you owe me. <laughs> you owe me $15. And I even hear her talking to her dad on the phone, and she's talking uh-huh. about how the poster is fifteen dollars and how she still got five to spend. I'm like, no, no, you don't, right? <laughs> Off topic uh, question, fam. My fiance always wears black and wants to wear all black to our wedding. I'm wearing blush. Is black absolutely one hundred percent. The black's fine. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, whatever it's makes my official you opinion. all. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. I mean, who sets the rules for that stuff, right? If that's what mm-hmm. you want to do, hell, mm-hmm. if you want to wear, if you want to be naked at your wedding, I say do it. Congratulations mm-hmm. on that, by the way. Resner, I'm 50% in the office and 50% in the office with you when I'm at home. It's caffeine, yabba, and sham. I hardly ever say anything, but I'm always here. Thank you, Resner. Thank you for being a member for 11 Thank months. Thank you. We do appreciate you. That's Nancy, the- that's <clears throat> gross. Nancy says, I saved every one of my son's teeth, and they're labeled with the date. Thank you for the super chat. That's disgusting. That <laughs> grossed me out. <laughs> that is pretty gross. Thank you anyway, for the super chat. That's what we call silent gang gang, by the way. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, so we're in this poster, $35 deep, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm talking to Sam. I'm like, damn, dude, this is like, this is going to be a poster. And the last poster she had on her wallet ripped down. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? We probably need to go to Walmart and check to see if they mm-hmm. have one of those poster protector things to go over the poster so we can hang it up. 
So we go to the Walmart, and of course the posters, it's huge. I don't remember how, how big, but it's pretty big, right? We get the poster protector thing. The poster protector thing is 15 mm-hmm. freaking dollars. So that mm-hmm. brings her total up to, uh, what? $60. No, it was uh-huh. 35 plus 15. Oh, wait, no, 20 plus 15 is 35. So it's like 50. I'm not real good at math. Dang, <laughs> wow. 50 bucks into this poster, right? So anyways, this was on August... August fourth that we August fourth, and you have to know, you have to understand. She's six. She's six, but she knows all about shipping, it, and, and she, she also knows that her mother can check shipping on her phone, which is delightful. Yeah, well, and also you got to remember that she's used to Amazon Prime. Yeah, like she looks on the computer, she gets something, and it's here the next day. Yep. Yeah, so she's used to that. So it has been torture since August what? Since August fourth. Th- yeah, the very next day, my poster here. Did you mm-hmm. check the tracking of my poster? When will my poster be when here? When my poster getting here? I've heard so much about this f- stupid fucking poster. Morning, that noon, and night. Yes. And the weekend was torture. The weekend was really bad because here's the thing. It was supposed to be here, right? It was supposed to be here. What day was it? Friday, I think. Then it Thursday, updated to I think. Saturday. Then it updated to Sunday. Yeah, it was delayed. And when I mean delayed, I mean, bitch, it was delayed. So it was so delayed that I wrote an email <laughs> this morning. Mm-hmm, she did. <laughs> To Poppy well, Playtime. Like, this company has no idea what they're doing to us. She's six years old. She's obsessed with Poppy Playtime. Yeah. And this I get it. It's not, the, it's not the company's fault. Obviously, they stuck it in the mail. They shipped it. But they shipped it for $15. They shipped it as slow as they possibly fucking could. FedEx right? at that. But uh, yeah. FedEx. I don't even know like what. But there's different, you know, obviously shipping um, options yeah. you can use. And they picked the worst freaking one, right? The cheapest one. Definitely not the $15 package. So it's been out for delivery for four fucking days, right? And I'm like, oh, my God. She's like, I sure do hope my poster comes today. When, when, and, you know? and Yab and I get a lot of packages delivered daily. Yeah, oh, God. So it's like, it's literally like torture to my kid. I don't even feel good about, you know, bringing in our packages. Yeah. I have everything delivered. It's not like it's unusual. It's just we have things delivered. We don't have time to go out and get mm-hmm. what we need to get. So she'll see us bringing in our packages and opening them, and you can tell it's just like it's killing mm-hmm. her on the mm-hmm. inside. It'll be this tiny little box. Is that my poster? Yeah. Can I go check the mailbox for my poster? I'm like, Ray, <laughs> it's not coming in the freaking mailbox, dude. It's going to be in a, you know, a long thing. Anyway, so I write the email this morning for I set up to go live, and I, I shoot this email off, and I was like, you know, what can we do to get this, you know, to get this figured out, worked out, whatever. Might have said a few other things. It wasn't rude or whatever. It was pretty funny, actually. No, but you got your point across. Yeah. And then I go back to the e- to the FedEx email, happen to pop in, check the tracking number, and it's out for delivery. Mm, locally. Whoa. In town. Yes, it's in town. It's on the truck. It's going to be here it today. It be here before she gets home from school. God, I hope. Yeah. So I'm super excited to get this poster here, put it in the thing, mm. hang it up on her wall, and I will never, ever out- order anything outside of Amazon. I have learned my lesson. Okay. I don't think the people fully appreciate the torture. <laughs> Man, it is it has been a long um what how many days? This is the sixteenth? Twelve days. Long. Yeah. Damn near two weeks over mm-hmm. this poster. For a friggin' poster. Anyways, guys, so listen. We're not here to talk about Chantel today. No. I mean we might do a little Chantel talk later. I don't know. But mainly, you know, I, you know what? I feel like we created this support group to support each other. You mm. know, like I've been the support group leader. I've been, you know, here to support to support everybody, getting, you know, getting you through the hard times with You've Chantel. You've been a strong and faithful leader. Yeah, and I feel like today, mainly, I'm coming to you guys for said support, we right? We need support now. Because we are under attack. For those of you who don't follow, I know there's a lot of people who, who do not keep up, who do not follow along with the Twitters, who basically just come in on the YouTubes. They, you know, they come in for the show. They laugh, they cut out, and that's it, right? So... Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people out there that are unaware of the things that happened and the things that played out yesterday. But we are here to tell you because we're not under any kind of court order to be no. quiet. Um, all this has played out online, so we actually are allowed to talk about all of it. Yeah. Um, we've been... <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> you can. I'll let well, you go ahead and drop it. <laughs> we've not been served, but... Um, Mr. and his mom's attic. No, no. Before you get to there, you know, I'm, t- I'm talking about how we've been advised of what we can and can't oh, say. Oh, yes. Well, let, yeah, let's just Let's go ahead and there. get that out of the way. We've retained counsel. Yes. Um, they have not. <laughs> mm-hmm. We've retained uh, legal representation, and we've been told this is our livelihood. Uh, we are all public figures. Yes. Um, so we can absolutely talk about it. We just need to go easy on the court talk. So we're not going to get into a whole lot of detail about the court stuff, but... 
Um, yes, Mr. and Ms. Mom's Attic has filed legal proceedings against both myself and Yaba. Mm-hmm. And as some of you may or may not know, he also attempted to file on Hot Plate. So let's break down the story of how we even found out, starting from the beginning, and I'm here for the intro music. Who do you think you are? Mandy, thank you for being a member for five months. We do appreciate you. Um, I feel like we should start from how this exactly, because, dude, it's so, listen. It's so crazy. It's like the YouTube gods are just in our favor for whatever fucking reason, because this was not meant to happen. We should have never found out that this person behind our back went and filed a protection order, an EPO on me and my girlfriend, and send it to an address that I haven't lived at in 17 years. Babe, will you shut the windows before I get yes. all rowdy in here and the neighbors wonder yes. what's going on? Yes. And they might call for backup. Yeah. <clears throat> what the fuck is a hot plate <laughs> we'll get to that haven't lived at this address in 17 years now ask yourself why would somebody who wants to who wants to serve somebody with an epo why would they drop that at an address at somebody who obviously and you want to know why this address was used i'll tell you why it was used because mm. out when you do background searches and everything it shows um, your family members that have lived at this address, possible other people that might still live at that address. And the reason I think this address was chosen, which Samantha has never lived at before, is because this is the only address that doesn't tie back to anybody as far as my family members, as far as my kid's dad, none of that. Like, there's no other. I moved, um, so when I was 17, I moved from, I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky, and I got my own apartment across the bridge in Clarksville, Indiana. And I got an apartment which I lived at by myself alone. There was no nobody on the lease with me. There were no friends that stayed there. So there were absolutely. Okay, hold on. Wait, pause. EPO, for those who don't know, this is a emergency protective order. Yes. Yes. He's filed for a protective order uh, both against myself and Yaba. Continue. But we got to start from the beginning on why certain things were done the way they were done, right? Mm -hmm. So when you pull my background history, and if you pull my, you know, the address that I grew up with at home, it's going to show my grandmother, my uncle, you know, all people that's related, you know, people that might still live there. So he didn't want to use that address. Number one, it's in Kentucky. Number two, the possibility of, of relatives still living at that address who could uh, give me that information that was sent there. Didn't want to do that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, didn't want to send it to um, the most recent addresses that are publicly available and known to be recent Oh, you addresses. mean the, the recent address that was docks all over the farms? Yes, that's there. That that if, so he did not, my point being, he did not want me or Sam, because not only did he send my EPO to that address that I lived at 17 years ago, he also did the same to Sam. Yep, he used that for my address never as well. lived at this address. Yeah, never, no. ever, 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 ever. He knows never. my old address in South Bend, the house that yes. I owned in yes. my name. Yes, you your name does not come it. back to that address at all. No. So, we, so you ask yourself, why would somebody send EPOs? Because you would want... when. When you, well, when th you, this is the address he gave the court to serve us. To with. serve us. Okay. So explain to these people, for those who don't know, why you would give an, a false address for a, an order of protection. Why would you do that? Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? If you to to uh, well, ultimately, so that the person does not get served. Yes. So that the hearing goes on without them. Yes. Which would result in a default judgment in his favor, meaning they would uh, grant the protective order against us in his favor because we were never served and didn't show up to court. And we didn't that's know what he was hoping for. That's what that's what the plan was. That's what his plan was. Thank you, Michelle, for the uh, support. I do appreciate you. So, um, by the way, hold on. Who do you think you are? So, when I say the YouTube gods yesterday were in our favor, mm -hmm. here's what I mean. We should have never known. We would have never known that no. this paperwork was sent out. Never, ever. Here's no, what never happened. Never known that we were on the docket. Nothing. In Fayette County. Nope. To appear for a protective order petition against us. We would have never known. Thank you, Nancy P. It would have been Who granted. Who do you by think default. it would have been granted by default? Here's what happened. So yesterday we have our live stream. Mm -hmm. It was a good. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. um, on Twitter, a post was going around because I have Katie blocked. You you all know we had that big back and forth not that long ago. Katie is who I call Hot Plate. Mm -hmm. um, Miss fucking wonderful. Katie. Miss fucking wonderful. Mm -hmm. Who's also had a back and forth with Negs. Whatever. She was served paperwork. So. 
was it me that sent you the screenshot or you that sent me? You sent it to me. I sent it to you. You read over the document, mm -hmm. right? And you were like, it was denied. He was like, yeah, but it's been denied. He didn't even get his date in court. Didn't even get a hearing. Denied. So, okay, let's stop right there. So this is how it works in the state of Indiana. You can file a petition for a protective order online. Okay, it goes in front of the judge literally same day, unless you file it overnight or on the weekend, then it's first thing next business. The judge reads over your petition. And your petition, that is your opportunity. It literally goes in front of the judge. Tell the judge your side of the story. Tell them exactly why it is you need an order of protection against the individual the respondent right mm -hmm. so he lays it all out yep um and then the judge decides to either grant what's called an ex parte order of protection ex parte means only one party so that means the judge is granting this order of protection based on only the one party's side of the story and then you're issued a court date where both parties can come in the respondent can defend themselves everybody presents their evidence they argue in front of the judge then the judge decides if the protective order remains in place or if it's dismissed after the hearing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, though, these petitions, they go in front of the judge and the judge reads it and says, uh, no, we're not going to grant the ex parte order. And there's literally so much of nothing here that I don't even want a hearing. I don't even want to hear it and denies it all. That's what happened in Katie's. OK, she got denied her petition. His petition against Katie got denied completely. Right. Bunny, thank you so much for the support. Who so listen, do you think you so are? So we're like, oh, my God. Look we're at like, wow. 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 Oh, my God. They got denied. OK. Yeah. So Sam goes on and she's reading the document. And she's like she's noticing like uh, discrepancies right well, on top. Everybody knows her full legal name. Everybody. It Especially is, I mean, if, Ron. Yes. If if you come from this community, if mm -hmm. you followed along, I mean, she's known as Catherine. You know, like, mm -hmm. you People know her call name. her Catherine. Yeah. He knows her middle name, yes. her middle initial, which is not D, put mm -hmm. it that way. Probably at this point knows her mom's social security number. Yeah. Right. So he files her paperwork and lists her name as Roby D. Katie. Yeah. Not even Catherine. Roby D. Katie. Her middle initial is not D. And I'm like... Gosh, that's really weird. Yeah. But clearly he used the right address for her because she did get the notice that it was denied. Mm -hmm. So, okay, well, that's weird. So whatever, we go about our day. Vidal, thank you so much for being a member for two months. We do appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Who we'll about our day. Do you and as think the YouTube, you YouTube gods would have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as per usual, you know how things just kind of get slid across our desk. We have a... We just... Shh. Yeah. That and happens that's a, that's frequently. Shh. It yeah. happens. It does happen. Go ahead. Tell them how it Quite happens. Quite frequently. So mm -hmm. uh, you never know who's listening, right? We, exactly. How many subscribers are you up to now? Oh, 28K. 28K. A little over 28K. 28,000 people subscribe to your channel. Right. You never know who's listening. Right. So uh, I get a little in my DM. Well, hello. Uh -huh. Who's Hi. there? Who's this? Who's there? Yes. And it's a silent viewer. Silent viewer. Years. We've mm -hmm. talked about silent viewers over here, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we, we love have. our silent viewers. Mm -hmm. Gang, gang. Okay. Gang, gang. Uh -huh. <laughs> this silent viewer... Long story short, has access to court systems and can access public record. Public. Uh -huh. There's nothing illegal going on there. They're public. Right. And she's like, hey, uh, well, it's public record, but it's a, a system that you can't just access from your personal computer at home, right? In order to access this particular system to see these EPO documents, you'd actually have to go to your county courthouse and the clerk... We'll look it up for you and hand it over. But if you don't know that there could be something pending against you to go to your clerk's office, say, hey, can you look this up and see if maybe something's pending against me, you know, under my name? You you would never find it searching online from your home computer. So this girl's like, yeah, hey, I looked it up and um, uh, here's the petition, right? So she sends over the petition. And we're at this point, we're just thanking still, Katie. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank yeah, you we're for, still, for the support. We only Who know Katie do so you far think you are? So the first email is the petition he filed on Katie. Yeah. Great. Second email comes through, and there's two more attachments. I'm like, well, what's this? <laughs> yeah. I open it up, and woo! Mm -hmm. It's the petition Ronald filed against Yaba. Mm -hmm. and at this point, I still don't know he's filed against me. I even said, weird, he filed against you and didn't take a swipe at me, huh? Uh, I opened the second attachment, and, well, there it is. Now he's filed against me as well. And actually, this is the order it went in, just for, you know, just so you know. He filed against me August 7th. He filed against Yaba August 9th. And he filed against uh, Katie on the 10th. What? I feel like this is where it gets important. 
Okay, I need mm-hmm. you, Sam. I mm-hmm. want you to repeat those dates. Names first, then mm-hmm. dates, and then we'll continue. Okay. Go ahead. The petition filed against me August 7th. That was, who, were, who was the first petition? Me. You. Sa- Samantha was the very first petition on August 7th. Mm-hmm. When did he file against me? August 9th. August 9th, he went back and did it again mm-hmm. against me. Mm-hmm. Now, by the time now, you come Now, ours around, got granted hearings. The judge yes. said, oh, granted. there are very important things going on here that I'd like to hear about. Yes. Now, the ex parte order was not granted, so there's no order in place as we speak. No. But he was granted a hearing. Who's right. Ronald, BGTV? Negs. Oh, no, Breezy asked that. Sorry about that. Yes. Negs. He's yeah. Negs. If you don't know, I understand. Guys, we'll get back to Chantel when yeah. we can, maybe after the stream. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll get back to Chantel. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay. So that was the ninth filed against you. Order, right. Uh, so uh, I got uh, it on the granted. ninth. And mm-hmm. so by the time we get around to Katie, what was the date on that? On Katie's? Uh, uh, the 10th, I believe. The, so 7th, 9th, and the 10th? Yes. So by the, by the time they got to the third one, he was already abusing the system, obviously. Mm-hmm. So I believe that probably... Well, and here, here's where he probably went wrong. Yes, go the ahead. The county in which uh, he's filing these these petitions is mm-hmm. a small county. Yes, And it, it is. gets filed in the circuit court. And this particular county has exactly, precisely one circuit court judge. Right. So it was the same circuit court judge yes. who had my petition slid across his desk on the 9th. Yes. Followed by, I'm sorry, no, mine was the 7th. Yes. Followed by Yabba's on the 9th. Yes. And then by the 10th, the petition against Katie gets slid across his desk. And he's like, hold the fuck on. We're not doing this. Denied, denied. So when people say, well, how did he get, you know, petitioned? What you all did must have been so yeah. horrible for years to get, a, you know, granted. And then Katie, who, you know, he's been going back and forth with and has been brutal, mm-hmm. got denied. Well, that answers your question right there. That's what happens when you abuse the system. Lights out, drill instructor. Thank you so much for that. And I do appreciate you. Who do you think you are? <laughs> now, don't forget that there there is a hearing that was granted for um, both Yaba and myself. It's next month. It's on the same day. Yep. Um, the, the court is not yet aware that, uh, Ron has purposely misled them no. and been deceitful in his filing. No. Starting off with using, um, purposely yes. using an address he knows that neither one of us reside at. Yes. He knows for facts. Us, yeah. Has not been for over 20 years. Right. So that's going to be a problem. It's intimidation. Off top intimidation a single well, mother well, it's not women just intimidation but this petition that he filed to the court and signed it's mm-hmm. a sworn statement to yes, the court it is sworn mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and yep. you, you you off top lied to the court by providing an address you know neither one of us have ties to so it's going to be a problem yeah yep a pretty big problem mm-hmm. and um as of when we got the paperwork, he was representing himself, right? Yes. Uh, filed the petitions pro se, which means he's representing himself. He is not um, He is not being represented by an attorney. All that talk you mean to tell me? And you know what's crazy to me is that DC's been talking a big game on Twitter, talking about how she's, you know, lawyer this and lawyer that, and we better get ready, and our asses are going to be in court, this, that, and the other. And then for him to turn around and file it. Mm-hmm. Without a lawyer is really, I mean. That's really, yeah, curious. Um, Stop and Smell the Roses says, Sam DC says she thinks you gave Bridget Nexus home information. Is that true? Yeah. Um, Nexus home information was on, has been on the farms for quite some time. Yes. Also, um, if you take it upon yourself uh, to Google his name, many addresses come up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure it was DC herself who, when she came to the internet crying, that somebody called the police and sent the police to Ron's home and she slapped that printout of the police call um, sloppily redacted where she blacked out the address but you could still see enough to see that the name of his street started with an O and that he was most certainly still in Connersville. Um, I mean, it's it was D.C. herself that um, actually gave it away. Authenticated that, you know, one of the addresses when you Google his name, one of the addresses that comes up is the right one. I didn't put that together. And clearly the address was already out there in order for someone to send the police there. Why? Because it was on the farm. So it was on the farms. Somebody sent the police there. All DC did was just validate that that's the correct address. Right. Right. But all of that's publicly available. I mean, it's not like all public information. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing was private. 
You know, another thing is that DC has left a paper trail behind her of the mm-hmm. time that her and Ron were enemies. And it's, you know, these are words that have came out of her mouth that she's posted on Twitter, mm-hmm. that she's posted on her own channel, talking about the stalking, the harassment that he did to her. Like, th- th- we are not the only people. Now, listen, I'm not sitting here and playing victim like, oh, poor me. You know, we engaged in back and forth YouTube spats for the last. Well, let's back it up because yeah. and then I said this on Twitter and it's that's fact. This is how it went down. Late 2016. <clears throat> Thank you, ghost. Ron, Who do you Katie, think you Gabba, are myself? Yes. Bunny. Mm-hmm. We all somehow found each other on YouTube. Yes. What what became to be known as the drama community did not exist yet. Mm-hmm. Ron has never denied. In fact, he has taken full credit for being one of the founding members of what came to be known as the drama community. Yes. So we created this community, this online community together. Ron was a part of that. I was a part of that. Yabo was a part of that. Katie was a part of that. Mm-hmm. He's never denied that. So that's what this community, where we met online, was all about. Drama, mudslinging, talking smack. Matter of fact, didn't Ron host on his channel, that I think it was the very first live stream he ever did on his channel, he hosted uh, the same people I just named. The doxing of Bunny Rabbit. The doxing of Bunny Rabbit. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And we have those live streams. Um, you know, this all this whole war between Ron, like he can twist it and he can spin it. And I have his own words to back this up. Um, and he will make you think it's because people are attacking his family, which is false. And not only is it false, it's slander. OK. Um, basically, when me and Katie specifically came into the community and started getting more attention than he did from other people and uh, started, well, was Katie, because I didn't have really a channel presence then, but Katie started making more money than him. He became very, very jealous. It, it was very basically... Quickly. When he, Drama Live popped off and you guys got Drama Live off the ground, yeah, you, Katie, and me yeah, got Drama Live off the ground and it was... It, um, it sent him over the edge. That was it. And, that's, and from there, it's just been all out war all out war over the internet which we both have participated in absolutely mutually all of us mutually yes you're no victim there's plenty of evidence out there not only that but i left the drama community in around 2018 i believe late 2018 early 2019 is when when you started your departure from the drama community yes yeah i completely left the drama community and that's well documented came over to oh Came over to the fatty community, started my reaction channel, did had had nothing to do with anybody from that community basically anymore. Um, and he even has admitted, you can thank Yabba. The the reason I'm here is because I followed her over yep. to this community. That is she is the reason why I'm here. Yep. She's the reason why I'm harassing you all. She's the reason why you have to deal with me is because of her. I followed her here from mm-hmm. the drama community. Yes. How many times have you heard that come out of his mouth? Here's a clip that I'm going to play. I'm just going to play the audio because it's on my phone. Um, I was going through. And, and here's the thing. When this started to get real ugly, when um, we were in, I'm just, it's, it's so much. Like, dude, you're talking, like, I, who gives a fuck? This is what's so crazy. Who gives a fuck? Like your ego is that fragile and you've got yourself yeeted off of every fucking platform. This is what you're doing with your time. At this point, who cares? We're talking about 2017. But since you want to go there, we can, right? So 2017, we had a drama live on Katie's channel. It was uh, first week of July. And um, there was a reason uh, I, me and Ron had to get into it for something. I don't remember what. And he had told Wasn't Katie. over Trailer Park Barbie? No, that was before that oh. happened. Um, basically, he told Katie that if um, we mentioned him or talked about him, that something bad was going to happen. And um, that was the day that somebody came in the chat. And that was the very first time that I had actually been doxxed. Yes. And his mod came to me in a DM, which I still have. Her name was Nikki. No good Nikki. No good Nikki. Anybody that who's from that community should remember. Came to me, got on the phone with me, talk, convinced me to have a phone call with her on the phone for four fucking hours, which mm-hmm. you all know I don't do. Mm-hmm. Trying to convince me to basically like wipe the slate clean. Yeah, this will happen. It, he did it. Whatever. Let's start over. We can all work together and move on. Absolutely not. Fuck out of my face. And basically it was on from there, right? Mm-hmm. 
So, um, what was even my point from that? I don't remember. I had a point that he's that. been the one starting the shit with you from day one. But it's always been never the, the other. It wasn't the other way around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So my point is, is like basically from that day forward, like, you know, I had an iPhone. That was when like screen the screen recording option was brand new to the iPhone. You could swipe down and start, you know, doing mm. screen captures and everything. So the point is, is like as big as your paper trail is, mine's probably three or four size the fucking size of yours. I have videos from 2017, 2018, 2019, um, because once CPS came to my door, and we won't go there with that, but you're not going to tell me any different. I'll leave it at that. Um, I started um, basically archiving everything, every single thing. Anytime he would mention me, anytime he would talk about me, anytime he would threaten me, it's all been archived. So for the next month, I'm going to spend going through my iCloud, my hard drives, uh, my Twitter. My Twitter still has a lot of shit there. And that's the that's the information I'm going to use to hand over for my discovery. It's no secret. There's no point in hiding that. It's all played out on YouTube. Everybody knows it. I mean, what, do you, what else do you think? It's going to be some kind of bomb I'm going to drop. That's exactly what I'm going to play. It's going to be me against you. Now, see, the difference is between me and you, you're, you're tying up my time. My time, my time is money. You know, end of. Obviously, you he have nothing that. to do. You're you're rotting alone in that basement. Um, you've lost every platform for your own behavior, and you sit here and you talk about how it's because everybody else's fault and not your own. No accountability. Zero manipulation out the ass. Oh, it's, he's now referring to his trolling as light trolling, in the deception that he does and how he brings it all always back to his family. I'm trying to protect me and my family. Who gives a fuck about your family? Literally nobody, not even what happens, not even him. You know what? Me and Sam, we eat upstairs in the kitchen at this bar and I'll always flip over in the I- iPad when we're having dinner or whatever. You know, I'll scroll through Twitter. I'll open up YouTube. I'll play Chantel or something. If my kids walk downstairs, Sam, what happens? You stop it. I Turn stop it. it. Why? Because I don't need to involve them in what I do online. Whether it be Chantel, whether it be fucking Ron and his bullshit that he's talking about. It's not like that for him. He involves. You protect your children. That's, from that's how you protect your family. On YouTube. That's how you protect your family. You don't involve them. You don't involve them. Rachel, thank you so much for the support. I do appreciate you. Here's Coffee Coin while you go through the discovery. Ingrid, thank you so much for that. Thank you, guys. Who do you think you are? And it's just like, so because you've got yourself yeeted off these platforms, you know, and there was a point in time to where this shit broke me down. It Mm -hmm. absolutely broke me down. And I thought, you know what? It is, you know, this was when, you know, I left an abusive situation I was in. I finally got out of that I got my own place. I was in a relationship I was happy with. I was like the happiest I've ever been in my life, right? Mm -hmm. Kids are healthy. We're happy. We're in a new place. We're trying to build a life together. We're safe. You know, at some point, even though if, if I felt like, you know, everything I did was justified, at the end of the day, it didn't matter. Like if you really feel like I hurt you that much, then yes, I, I I did write him an apology letter and I meant every single word because it was getting so gross between us that something bad was going to happen. Yeah. Somebody was going to end up getting hurt or God knows what, you know? So let's just end it. And you know what? At the end of the day, if I did hurt you, I apologize. And that was then. And I meant it. And he accepted it. He didn't want to. You could tell at first that he was kind of pressured into accepting that apology. Mm-hmm. You know, because he he kind of demanded, he wanted to demand that I go on my platform and read that apology to him. Mm-hmm. Right? Do you remember that? Yeah, he didn't want to accept it. Yeah, no. But he was kind of pressured into it. And basically, from that day forward, there was a truce. Remember? Susan, the Swedish Yarny Hooker, welcome to the shit show. Thank you so much for joining. We do appreciate you. Who do you think you are? And you are? know, and, and for me, I don't know what it did for Ron. But for me, I was like, you know what? It was like a weight lifted off my off my shoulders because I did get obsessed with kind of watching what was going on, kind of archiving everything was going on, waiting for, you know, 
what's gonna what's gonna happen you know he loses platform or whatever how is he gonna feel the way that I feel like that he made me feel for the day that CPS came to my house you know I was obsessed with it Mm -hmm. you know because it wasn't just CPS it was a whole ordeal and he still mocks me over that he'll sit there and say I was living with some felon felon fresh out of jail is what he said that's not fucking true my kid's dad was not a felon are you kidding me that was not true I had told Katie that I was in an abusive relationship. She told Ron and they used that information against me to taunt me with it. Good for them. Do you think I give a fuck? Do you think I care what these people think about me at the end of the day? Do you, do, how do you think <laughs> that makes... Those two losers, look where they're at now. I mean, how do you think that that makes them look when they mm-hmm. sit there and say, you deserve to get your ass beat? Uh, mm-hmm. And he posted that meme on Twitter of, what was it, fucking Chris Benet or something like this? This was back at the very beginning and, and said, yeah, but look familiar or something. Like... How do you, that don't make me look anyway. It makes you look stupid for using that against me. I don't give a fuck what they say about me. And that is the one thing that I can tell people, like, don't worry with these. And it wasn't about words. I wasn't upset about words. That was not it. It was basically what you put my family through. The same shit you're accusing us of doing. (laughs) Rachel, you're going to have to tap back, honey. It's a lot, right? So anyways... When that apology letter was written, was sent, that was it. I felt like a new person. I was like, you know what? Like, mm-hmm. this is, this is, this feels good. Like, you know, whatever, we're moving on. And we did. We didn't talk about Ron. When Ron was getting into fights with people that I uh, had associations with on, you know, in the hater community, Charlie, mm-hmm. Callie, mm-hmm. Frenchie, um, who, I mean, I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I could not go back on my word after all I said about, after yeah. that apology letter that I wrote. Mm-hmm. I couldn't. Mm-hmm. I just sat there and watch it happen. And yeah, I did feel bad because at the end of the day, he did follow me from the drama community. Yes. He did. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Right. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. And so anyways, I got this clip that I'm going to play that I found well, yesterday. Well, hold on. Say why he uh, started in on us again. After oh, yeah, that was my point. Yeah, that so, we held up. So I held up on a truce. And even after he got yeeted off of YouTube, which was completely his fault. Completely his fault. We had nothing to do with Asking to show that. a child that you thought that Callie had. Mm-hmm. Asking where Solomon. You wanted proof of Solomon because you claim that she talked about your kid. I've never seen anything like that. Did you see anything about Kelly talking about Ron's kid? Have you ever to this day uh, seen no. anything about nothing? Why do you constantly bring your kids into this? It's so fucking bizarre. It's like you want people to talk about your kids. I don't know. I don't know why you feel like you want to come online and accuse people of talking about your kids so you can defend them. It kind of seems like you got a guilty conscience to me. If you want to be completely fucking honest. I don't know. So anyway, so he loses his platform on YouTube, gets gets yeeted. They don't want anything to do with him. What was he doing? Was he, uh, what happened? How did he actually lose the channel that time? All that shit with uh, Callie? Rachel, thank you so much. That was very nice of you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for the support. Here, Rachel, this is for you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Um, so He did something really, he was, he was threatening to go basically, he was going to start going door to door and interviewing people, right? Well, I'm yeah. just going to go start interviewing going to people. houses. Yeah. From YouTube. Under the guise of interviewing. That's yeah. another intimidation tactic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, because we didn't speak up and, and, and try to get his platform, get him back on YouTube. Yeah, he started going after off. us. Yep, all bets were off, and he started going after us again. Yep, started on his, on his um, Rumble. Mm-hmm. started uh on twitch started uploading videos again so i started mm-hmm. archiving again i started collecting all of those videos mm-hmm. again remember how he talked about me and sam and how we had sex mm-hmm. and talking about uh how we scissored and mm-hmm. talking about the way it must smell yeah he, he did all that mm-hmm. it's all recorded it's all documented all of it and you know what else i find very interesting and yes um katie has a hell of a reputation online right i, I can't even sit here and even begin to talk about you know the things that she's known for online but when you file an epo on somebody that is an emergency protection order that Mm -hmm. means that you feel like that your life is in danger and that this person is stalking and or harassing you specifically what he claims this man has went on every single platform 
and talked about the way her vagina smells. Mm-hmm. Call it refers it refers to it as her slit. Mm-hmm. Talks about the boils on it. Mm-hmm. Talks about her face. Talks about her family. And they've talked about each other. But it has been a back and forth. He was not in fear of his life. The day, I think it was the day that he filed the uh, protection order against Katie. He was online talking about Katie. Which, yeah. And this, even after he knew that it was all denied, he continued. He continued. The day that he filed an order of protection against um, me, he posted something on his Twitter. Which said Two down, one to go. Two down, one to go. Mm-hmm. And this is, and, and the court is not... No matter how you feel about Ron, no matter how you feel about Katie or me or Sam, when you look at when it comes down to what's right and wrong as far as the court, the court is there for just what it is. An emergency protective order. Your life is in danger. You need a protection order against somebody for your own safety. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he was using the court. He was taking advantage of um the system basically right Mm -hmm. being deceitful committing perjury yes and um he did not go into his local courthouse and file these claims he did it all online on his computer Mm -hmm. right yes he did it was all filed online on his computer which made it a lot more easier for him just to sit down there with all those screenshots and hand them over to the courts and then you know and he leaves everything that he done out remember when ron came online and was showing his guns and his bows and arrows right after he actually went online on twitter and posted a picture of him with his bow and arrow the day of um him filing a protection yes, order against me yes he did mm-hmm. it's all documented it's all gonna be submitted over to our lawyer all of it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so uh there's that was there anything else there was this clip oh yeah play the clip you know, screenshots are one thing, right? Screenshots are one thing. And I'm not going to give away the thing with the screenshots. We'll just leave it at that, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you right now that the odds of you going online, finding the words coming out of my mouth of me making threats to someone are slim to none. Are slim to none. I'll say it again. The odds of you going and finding me saying with the words coming out of my mouth that I threatened anybody are slim to none. Exactly, hey, Frenchie. Frenchie. DC's buying him weapons now. Well done, Granny. Well, the question is, he's already got the one protection order against him. I, and, and here's the thing that really gets me is that when you live, uh, it's just an Indiana thing or is it nationwide as far as they take your um, your guns and things like that? Mm. You're not allowed to have. Um, it's not every state, but Indiana is one of them. They take your firearms. Mm-hmm. The sheriff, when the sheriff uh, comes to serve you with the, if it, if it goes through, if it were to go through and we actually have a protective order against us, the sheriff would come to serve us with that and um, has the legal authority to confiscate all of our weapons. Yeah. Yeah. And so we live here alone. It's us mm-hmm. with our children. We are uh, public figures. Yes. On the internet. Right. Exactly. It's only a matter of time for our addresses out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it's not already. Mm-hmm. That they, is, so you want this order to go through so they can come in and take the only means that we have to protect ourselves. Is, is At the end of the day, here's my question to you, Ron. At the end of the day, because, and here's what I told Sam. Here's what I told Sam yesterday. After, after it finally settled in, what's going on? Because when you have three kids that you're responsible for, you know, and you're actually a parent, right, and you make sure that your kids are very well taken care of, like your whole life is committed to your children, morning, noon, night. You're the one that takes them to school. You go out of your way to make sure that they are out of district so they can go to an even better school, you know, so you drive them, mm-hmm. right? Um. You take them to their, um, what do you call them? Their activities After that they have. school activities. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. You make sure that their grades are well above where they, you know, acceptable. I don't mm-hmm. want to hear that you got a 90. My son gets in the, in the truck the other day. He goes, got a 90 on my test. Mm-hmm. Well, that's great, but I think you can do better, mm-hmm. right? When you actually parent your kids, you know, and you take pride in that, and you get hit with something legal like that it's kind of breathtaking it is so it kind of it did it took me back Mm -hmm. like it took it it had to settle in 
And I'm like, because you just don't know what to think all of a sudden. All you know is you're getting handed this paper. Anytime you deal with courts and things like that, it can be scary. Mm-hmm. It's I definitely unsettling. I am the sole caretaker of these children. And it's not just they're here, they're living beings. I throw them a hot pocket every now and again, and that's it. I'm trying to raise three productive members of society. I'm trying to do my part. I'm try- Believe it or not, I know that I have a shitty reputation when it comes down to it, but I'm really trying to do my part for these kids, right? Thank you so much, Wims. I appreciate your support. Who do you think you are? But after it's settled, and after, you know, I talked to Sam, because Sam's very, very smart, right? No, thank and your, you. Your dad's a lawyer. My dad's a lawyer. My brother's a judge. Yeah, so she impresses me with, you know, her knowledge and things like that when it comes to court shit. And, you know, when I finally, you know, got the gist of everything and I'm like, okay, worst case scenario, we talked about it. I was like, okay, so worst case scenario, we get an EPO against us, which sucks. But at the end of the day, he has to shut up. These EPOs go both ways. No, the same any other go both ways, yes. So, not, so he kind of fucked himself, right? Because what's your content now? Your content is firing up a live stream and being absolutely vile. To any and everybody you can on the internet. And these are people who have had, you know, bad reputations themselves. But still, you blow it out of the water with them. Mm-hmm. I'll name some. Emergency protective order is an EPO. Hussy. I've seen you go on and on and on and on and on about Hussy. Gaining Ground's another one. Um, who are another? Who's who's another person? Frenchie. Well, no, I'm talking about people who, you know, don't have very good reputations. You oh, know what I sorry, mean? Oh, sorry, sorry. No, you blow it I was out reading the, the chat. <laughs> blow it out of the water there. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, wow. You know, like, wow. Peanut. Peanut's another one. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm not saying anything bad about anybody. I'm not. I'm just saying. And then, so, what I see now with the, with the harassment of Frenchie and the baiting of Frenchie what happened recently with Frenchie well let me tell you so Frenchie's puppy passed away we all are aware what happened with with um her dog with Ollie and he took that opportunity to bait Frenchie because when you're grieving you don't care what you say you're you're gonna say whatever you are gonna make sure whatever you say makes that person feel the way that you feel at that moment right Mm mm-hmm and what happens when they go into a back and forth on Twitter? He uses that as a reason to start calling her a scammer, start holding live streams. So ask yourself this question because he's he's got us hauled up in court, right? Can't even talk about us. Now he's referring to me as YTU. YTU. So if you go in um, one of my older videos in my description, my email is YTU. I'm known as a YouTube underground. And even when you try to refer to me as YTU, that can be used against you as you talking about me after you've submitted the protection of order, right? So anyways, he can't talk about me. He can't talk about Sam. I'm going to assume there's probably other legal things going on with people inside of the states. So now he's going to start moving his harassment and baiting people outside of the states, like French Fry Girl. That is his main target now. Why? Because what can what legally can you do? What can she do to him? Nothing. So now he's going to paint her as a scammer and say all kinds of vile, nasty stuff. Because why? Because he feels like he can because he baited her in a back and forth when her dog passed away saying some vile shit about her dog and got her to say some nasty shit. And now that gives him the green light in the past to say whatever he wants to about Frenchie. Here's the thing, though. Frenchie might be in Canada, so it would be awfully difficult for him to file something on her, right? Seeing as how he's filing pro se and doesn't have an attorney. All Frenchie has to do is call up, oh, I don't know, any licensed attorney in the state of Indiana uh, and pay their fee. And she has representation in the United States in the state of Indiana. You might want to think about that long and hard. Actually, we probably know somebody. Maybe we do. Yeah, we might know somebody. You never know who's listening. This is a person with patterns of behavior for over six years, just since we've been on this community. Well documented patterns of behavior. We've walked documented away. by two of the best. Yes. Might I add. I don't know why you chose this route. 
I don't know why. People. Oh, because you know why? Because his jealousy. Because he sees us on a platform, and he thinks that we came in after him, and he sees that people like us, and he thinks because we said bad things about him, and we weren't held accountable, but the bad things he said about uh, us and what he did to us was justified mm. because he had a reason to do that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Postaloni. I appreciate you. Hold on. Who do you think you are? Let me play this clip. I was going to play it a while ago. Let me play it now. Okay, so this um, clip was taken, uh, recorded actually, because I told you I was documenting everything, even though I was silent. I move in silence, right? I've always told y'all, real G's move in silence, right? Mm -hmm. I was in the background doing my fatty community stuff, doing my reaction to Chantel and Amber and my 600 pound life. But, you know, in my downtime, I was archiving Mm -hmm. every single thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I pay I think $20 a month for like 10 no it's like a tear like five terabytes or something of iCloud information not just for this but because I've had this is where all my kids pictures from as far back as my iPhone goes every single picture is uploaded backed up to my iCloud so I pay Mm -hmm. a monthly fee for terabytes Mm -hmm. of storage right Mm -hmm. anyways this clip um Actually, before the part I'm going to play, but I'm not going to play that right now, but I'm going to tell you what was happening before. So he, this was when he was just first introduced and he wanted to come over and check on me, which I'm sure he was keeping tabs on me, but he just wasn't ready to, you know, dip his toes in yet, right? So he's acting brand new to the community, right? But before he starts talking about my channel, you know whose channel he was talking about? Did you hear me playing the video last night at 2 o'clock in the morning in the bed? <laughs> No. <laughs> he was talking about Charlie Goad. Oh, right, right, right. Because Charlie Goad's another one that he really gunned for in the community. Mm-hmm. But anyways, um, yeah, let's hear what Ron's got to say. November 4th, 2020. This is a man that um, is in fear of his life and who has issued an EPO out against me. Let's and take your a girlfriend. Yes, and my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Let's take a listen. Stolen from me. That's a... Uh... Hold on. Here we go. Listen, guys point out the YouTube underground too. 22,000 subscribers, name stolen from me. That's uh, that that name. I coined that phrase, the YouTube underground. So right there lets you know that um, it gives motive. Mm. That gives a lot of motive. Mm. Is that he has thought ever since I came over here and started this reaction community bullshit that the name that I chose for my channel, the YouTube underground, that he coined. And he, he even bought a website. Um, was it last year? It was before the apology letter, letter. So it was in 2020. He bought the uh, YouTube Underground domain. He opened up another YouTube Underground mm-hmm. YouTube account. That way, if anybody typed in the YouTube Underground, his channel would also pop up. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue mm-hmm. with the video. Oh, another pattern of behavior, huh? Yes. Uh, lots, lots and lots of patterns of behavior. Yes. Point out the YouTube Underground, too. 22,000 subscribers, name stolen from me. That's uh, that that name. I coined that phrase, the YouTube underground. Um, Prove it. Yes, uh, they can they can dispute that all they want. I coined the phrase, the YouTube underground. Then why didn't they you use it? They stole it from me because they are an unoriginal hack. But let's go ahead and look at their, at their videos now. This is going to get redundant. The whole first line, the whole second line, except for support group meeting, whatever the hell that is, is foodie beauty. The whole third line, Foodie Beauty, except for the Jackie Overton story, which nobody gave a shit about. Only 8,000 people uh, watched it. Um, Foodie Beauty, the fourth line. uh, Fifth line, Foodie Beauty, Foodie Beauty, Foodie Beauty, Foodie Beauty. I don't know who Tati is. Uh, Tati is a snake. That's probably them just trying to, you know, get some views. Uh, I'm sorry. (laughs) What are you on YouTube for? Yeah, no shit. Are you on YouTube to protect your family? <laughs> you know what? I got a YouTube channel, DC. I got a YouTube channel to protect my family. He sounds like that. <laughs> I'm just here on YouTube to protect my family. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, coining a phrase means nothing. The only thing that matters is they trademarked it or copyrighted the name. Otherwise, it's nonsense. F this noise and F this guy. Thank you, Rachel, and I Thank appreciate you so your generous support, hon. Who do you think you are? Yeah. The reason you create a YouTube channel. Hold on. 
let it's me, gonna let me let me it's gonna blow you away go ahead sam it's to get views yeah 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 and make money yeah a lives a little scale live reaction that is about foodie beauty uh a uh, two <laughs> just look at this and it's like how can you sit there it, it, it diverts a little bit and gets into my 600 pound life, but it, it, there's a theme here. It's all fat, morbidly obese, overweight people. Every single video, nothing, no original content, nothing that expresses themselves as a as an individual or a creator. If you don't have any videos protecting your family, Yabba, it, where's it, the videos of you protecting your family? It's called a niche reaction and review channel it's a thing yeah what's the problem it's a thing what's the problem only ak how many people are watching him uh close to none he's gonna have a few eyes on him because of this but it's not gonna be the kind of eyes that he wants uh, thank you maggie what, what's who channel? do you think you are oh that's right that's right anyways it's all about fat people and yeah, i remember that fat. uh some people back in the day when they were coming for me, Yabba, MFW, all those people included, one of the things they brought up was Negs attacks fat people. Negs no, no, it was that Negs goes for women. Yep. That was always our go to the way he talked about women. Mm -hmm. When I heard uh, him talking about the way that a woman has an abortion and they suck the baby out of her vagina, yeah, it's disgusting. It's not that he was talking about fat people, it was mm -hmm. the it's the way that he currently in previously talked about women it's always been a problem the way he always has women have always been a big target of his absolutely mm -hmm. fat women okay so you stole you stole my moniker of the youtube underground started a channel and started slagging off on fat people okay uh my shirt says born to kill it's a full metal jacket, uh, Japanese movie poster. Anyways, that was it. That's odd. That, yeah, so I guess somebody asked him who the jacket was. <laughs> Wait, get views and make money? That's, impos <laughs> that's impossible. Thank you so much, Rachel. Rachel, thank you, dude. I really do appreciate you. Wow. Stupid not, not that one. Hold on, I meant to do a DC whatever. We're having a theme here, okay? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. So, at the end of the day, we've been at war for four years right now despite our best efforts to squash that shit two years ago yes 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 and um he completely blew it out of the water right didn't want to do it because he lost his platform or whatever um now that he's lost his youtube channel lost his now lost his twitch i guess basically he feels like that he's gonna you know get the evil people off of youtube I, d I don't really understand and that's totally fine you know you can tie up some of our time um whatever and i i have no doubt that we will be uh victorious well you know this is one of my favorite things to do so yeah yeah and it, it's just and i happen to have experience in um fighting uh frivolous uh petitions for protective orders filed against me by um loser hater asses online uh who mislead the court and commit perjury yes he is banavating it's a matter of time before he gets that channel yeeted probably as soon as he gets it monetized they'll yeet it <laughs> that's what i'd say well i you know in the description uh it says this channel will never be monetized uh here's my cash app and my paypal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so there's that that's what we're dealing with right now that's what we got um hit with yesterday that's kind of an update for you guys of what's going on because i said as soon as we got that that i was going to be upfront and honest and talk about it i have no reason to hide anything anything that i can say you know to the courts i can say here on my channel i don't really see a, a reason to be quiet yeah i i just want to i just want to make sure everybody understands the fact that he never intended for us to go he never intended for this to go to court he yeah. never intended for us to be served no he never intended for us to find out that he did this he absolutely his end game goal was to get a default judgment against us um and the fact that like we found out and now we're able to we've hired counsel we're able to defend ourselves and and make no mistake about it we will pursue this to the fullest extent of the law oh, 100%. both criminally and civilly 
uh, for taking the harassment um, against us to this level. Uh, yep. We'll be pursuing it to the full extent. Um, Mima might want to reconsider tying the knot with old Attic Boy because uh, neither one of you will ever own anything in your names ever for the rest of your lives. Be mm-hmm. assured of that. And there's that. <laughs> Uh, Suzanka, thank you so much for the support. I uh, appreciate you. Uh, all ba- atrocities. Uh, not much time for the support group to support you. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Rach just gave me more money. Mason, Rach just gave more money than Begs has made in <laughs> months. Thank you, guys. I appreciate all and any support. I just appreciate, appreciate you guys being here, too. You know, kind of being here for me to kind of... This has been building up. Like... I've I like between me and Sam I've just been sitting here with all this information and I'm just trying to process it like my brain is just bing bing like it's really like I said it puts you in a manic state so just having you all like as a shoulder to lean on and kind of get it all out there if like I feel like a weight's lifted right now just to actually be like yeah this is what I'm going through this is what's happening right now like we're trying to just do our thing over here and yeah we put we're like I said we're not innocent little victims in this situation i'm not trying to say that at all right but, but I mean, we have certainly on. not stalked or harassed um mr Ex- corbin exactly. at any point in time exactly ever right the support group supports yabba and sam thank you mia Moore. i appreciate you guys mm-hmm. so um yeah we'll be my knitting needles are running hot hair love the drama you go girls <laughs> thank you storm i appreciate you We'll be here. We're, the show goes on, okay? We'll keep you updated on um, everything that comes out, everything that plays out. Are we, do you know yet if we're allowed to share Discovery? Because I plan on what I can share, what we are advised that we can or cannot share. Anything that they say, give, give us a green light on, we will. Everything, mm-hmm. anything, mm-hmm. you know, and mm-hmm. whatever we can, do you know? Did you ask? Uh, no, I haven't asked. That. We have a phone call with the attorney later today, so we'll be asking um, questions then. Don't worry. It'll all come out. It will be at one, at yeah, if one we point or another, it will all be shared. Bunny31, welcome to the shit show. Thank you so much for joining. We do appreciate you. Are you out of your fucking Whether mind? we get to share it now, which I'm really hoping we can kind of just no, share No, we're it. not going to share it before we go to court. Absolutely not. Wait till okay, okay. Well, never mind. Okay, that part we can't. Mm-hmm. But after it's all said and done, well, yeah. When it's, but yeah, I mean that might be a while because, like I said, we intend to pursue this both criminally and civilly. Yeah, it's gonna definitely gonna so get it could be back. a while. Yeah, but don't I agree. Worry. Thank you, Mississippi Blondie. I appreciate you. Running channel called the Cupcake Files or something like that, where he uploads clips of his enemies. Wow, thank you for that information. Uh. Is it Pinky, the blonde of colors? Thank you for being a member for four months. We do appreciate you. We've got lots of information. I'd like to, again, shout out Orange Cat for uh, sending me over uh, a lot of archived information as well. Mm -hmm. We do appreciate that. And also, let me, um, do I have my email loaded in, ready to go? There it is on the screen because I know that a lot of people, um, and this is the thing, this has not just affected um, creators. Um, if you, he has went through several different communities who, who have also had to deal with a lot of shit, you know, um, we actually got sent some information yesterday from an old, um, can I, I'm not without giving any details. Can I talk about it? About what? The clip you sent me yesterday from the DM you got the voicemail. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we were actually Just sent over. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. We were sent over an, a voicemail that this uh, person had left in um an old subscriber back then it wasn't members i guess member of the community but you know whatever this is from 2018 2018 of basically um threatening them right mm-hmm. so it mm-hmm. what it's not just this, this person doesn't just fight with fellow creators community members old subscribers um you know if there's anything because we're not just giving over i'll go ahead and say this we're not just providing information on us we're also trying to provide a pattern of behavior here so if you need to reach me there's my email um if i will definitely be into my email because all this is going on so don't worry about it also sam's dms on twitter are open you can contact Mm -hmm. her there um and i'm trying to work on figuring out who my email subscriber is so i can get you an email too (laughs) sorry (laughs) I don't know who I pay to have my email. I, I don't remember who the provider is. That's I gotta, so funny. Yeah, I got to figure that out, right? 
somebody on Twitter was like, just go through your bank statement. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's easier said than done, right? Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's the um, email. If you need to get a hold of me, you need to drop me any kind of information, um, feel free. Don't worry. You will be anonymous. I'm not going to come on here and, you know, um, give out, you know, your information that you gave me information. Everything will be anonymous. Okay. You don't have to worry about that. And yeah, anything you want to add, Sam? Finishing last words. Rachel says, do it, everyone. Send an email, even if it's just how much you stand. Thank you so much again, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. You had mentioned something about that. I don't know if we want to do that yet, but you were talking about asking, like... Inviting anybody who wants to um, write a letter to the court. Um, not just on our behalf, but, like, if you want to just kind of summarize your knowledge of, um, you know, Ron's time and history and behavior... His, the patterns of his behavior online, you know, just a quick little summary of it, um, you know, painting a picture. Um, if you want to email that to us, um, we will forward that to our attorney as well. Mm -hmm. And you never know. It may end up in discovery. Yeah, exactly. And you can do it anonymously, right? Yes. Because I know, you know. It, it, yeah, we don't need your address, your phone number, or anything. Yeah, yeah. So there's that, guys. We'll be back to business as usual tomorrow as much as we can. Like, you know, sometimes I don't think it'll be that yes, bad. Yes, character witness. Thank you, Rachel. I think we'll be fine. I'm not, like, mm. thinking they're going to fucking hit it. Like, because that's the thing. Like, I told, like, I'm pretty in touch with the reality. I know what I've said about people. I'm not going to be, like, the lawyer's going to talk to us later and they're going to hit us with, oh, do you remember this day when you said this? And I'm going to be like, oh, my God. Yeah, no. Oh, I, no, so I'm not. So it's like, dude, I'm pretty open with how I am. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can be an asshole. I can say some really fucking vile shit, but I ain't never threaten nobody. Exactly. Thank you, Elyria Sand. And Thank you, Elyria. Yeah, um, just I see some people asking questions in the chat. I'll Our try Lady to Chantel, answer some thank of them. you. Yes, let's take this, questions. This is not a criminal filing against us. Uh, this is no. an order of protection. It's not like a misdemeanor felony, anything like that. Um, but yeah, Ooh. definitely. Uh, we intend to go full. Yeah. Yes, There's because that. the this this absolutely what he's done, especially. The way he misled the court and perjured himself in the sworn statement given address he knows is false with the intent of um, securing a default judgment by us not being served. All of these things are things that would be considered. And if, if there are any criminal charges to be filed uh, or, you know, civil pleadings to be filed against this for damages, um, we, we're going to do it. So agreed. Yeah, you, know, you could. I, you know, we were listening to his stream last night, which, by the way, you can take it back off private. Go ahead and make that puppy. Public yeah, we again. we have it we already have downloaded. It. Yeah, yeah we have it downloaded. We have the link saved. I don't know who you're hiding it from or why you are attempting to conceal evidence um, such as slamming your sh your Twitter down private and privating live streams. We didn't even say that yesterday. We didn't. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't say that today that he privated everything after we got, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, because like I said, he did not know that we were going to get these papers. And pretty much as soon as he found out that we knew he locked his Twitter down. Yeah. He had no intentions of us finding out, but yeah. Um, yeah. Stop trying to conceal evidence, knock that shit off. But anyway, my point is, um, while we were listening to slash recording last night's stream, you know, you could tell, you can tell he's rattled. Let's just say oh, that absolutely, much. Oh, absolutely. hundred percent. I would be too. Playing the victim. Oh, I'm not mad. I just want, I just want them to leave us alone. Mm -hmm. Can somebody point me in the direction of where I've sat there and harassed somebody or where I've used my channel like he does to go on and on? I've made a video. I've made a couple of videos. I've talked about him. I've talked about DC, right? Mm-hmm. He goes on and on and pokes mm -hmm. the bear and pokes the bear. And when the mm -hmm. bear bites back, he's victim, victim, mm -hmm. victim, 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 victim. Yep. That's been his tactic for a long, long time. And that shit's about to come to an end. These days are over. Yeah. Don't worry, guys. We're going to put an end to uh, all this shit for y'all. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you've got the balls to come back online and show your ass after all this shit, uh, you deserve everything coming to you, buddy. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Is what that current over there? The screen where it shows certain channels live. Is that current? 
Wow, it is. I'm just curious. I'm going to excuse myself. I have some work to do in my office. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. This dude is. Can I go ahead and do a live reaction? I mean, I'm not under any kind of. Oh, uh, yeah. No, you can do whatever the fuck you oh, want. OK, well, we're not going anywhere for a while. That's well, this body. person who filed an EPO out on myself. Me. And who? And who? In Miss Fucking Wonderful, oh. who he filed an EPO and res was rejected. He is live right now on his second channel, reacting, and he has MFW's name in the title. Now, you explain to me how your life is in danger and you continue to react to these people. Jim, you're not even, I'm not even going to spend another four years going, don't do it. I'm just going to yeet you. No refund. Get the fuck out. File for a refund from Patreon. Wow. You were reviewing Miss, Katie's videos? Are you kidding me? Well. With Katie in the... T With Katie in the title, you just tried to get a restraining order against Katie in order of protection, and you've got MFW in your title. What is the judge going to think when he sees this? What is the judge going to think when he sees this? Dude, I'm telling here. you what, Pause that. people are... Is this uh, Ron demonstrating what uh, <clears throat> his role in the community is? Yes, I do believe so. So this is oh, him. Okay. This is proof of him using the court to get back at his YouTube enemies. And when that didn't happen, he went right back to business as, as usual. Why? Because he is not afraid of this woman so strange Wild. let me go ahead and collect the url because you always mm -hmm. remember guys you always need the url because no matter if they delete it or take it down you can have your lawyer subpoena the youtube the deleted video the deleted video you got the url yep first off i want to tell i just want to say this real quick every time somebody comes into the community and i have an issue with something like uh i can't even show the screenshot it's so bad i can't even show the screenshot it's so bad and disturbing it like it triggered me this morning um and and, and after years and years and years of asking people to not do things and they do it and then they make it all about themselves tell me you don't give a fuck about me without telling me please make a mistake and then when you upset somebody with it please make it all about yourself because that is a perfect way to make it up to the person is to make it all about yourself and how you feel when you hurt somebody else's feelings always make receipts like for me paying you but evidence <laughs> thank you rachel for the support thank you so much rachel damn it feels good to be a gangster this is insane make it about no, this yourself isn't Twitch. this is youtube this is youtube yeah he is ban evading on youtube first and foremost that's how you make it better is by making it all about yourself and how you feel um, he wouldn't get anywhere listen, with the crisis stream. Um, I'm going to be nuking a lot of my social media that has any of my family on it. Probably my, particularly my Facebook. Oh, now we're back to talking <laughs> about your family. Yes, because that's all it's about. That's why you're here. That's why you don't have a YouTube channel for views. For them, like the rest of us, you have a YouTube channel to protect your family. Why is he? <laughs> Why are we suddenly nuking all of our social media? You didn't nuke your social media the day you filed an EPO on me. Yeah. You didn't nuke it the day you filed an no. EPO on Yaba. You didn't nuke it the day you filed an EPO mm -mm. on Katie or even Callie back in October. Nope. That she didn't bother to show up to the hearing for either one of you. That's why I got threw out anyway. Mm -hmm. um, that's weird. No. Uh, you, you make the decision to start nuking your social media when um, it's known that we found out about the EPO you tried to file on us and have served at an address that you know uh, we are not associated with. How strange. Can't help but notice that you locked your Twitter down last night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We already scrubbed it. Scrubbed, <laughs> we got it all. Archived, scrubbed. We have it all. Yeah. Long time lurker, but I hate when people weaponize civil suits in the free platform of YouTube to be a court jester clown. Good luck. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate you. Mm-mm-mm. Hold on. Go ahead. Tell us more about I'm how you're I'm going to be starting a new because media. I let a couple people from the real world, internet world rather, 
onto my Facebook and somebody An decided, EPO is an emergency protection order. That means that you fear that your life is in danger. Hold on. Tap back two times. Tap, tap. Two taps. Hold on. Thank you. I'll let it play. I'll tell you when to stop. Like my, particularly my Facebook. I'm going to be starting anew because I let a couple people from the real world, internet world rather, onto my Facebook and somebody decided to pass uh, oh, Hater Nation News screenshot. Uh huh. So is that how one who's so who who protecting his family is at the forefront of his mind? Is is this what a father who has an online presence, who his number one, you know, aim in life is to always protect his family? Why on earth would you let people from the internet onto your Facebook where your family could be exposed to them? But you're so concerned about protecting your family. Okay. 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 It's bizarre. And I feel like uh, we need to wrap this up so we can go start. You know, we got work to do. Yeah, guys. we have work to do. We've got a case sure. to get as to. We love to watch this with you all. It's just going to be redundant at this point. There's only so much to say. Yes. Yeah, so, um, like I said, the email is on the screen. We would be back to watch uh, Chantel roll down the hill tomorrow. Okay, don't worry. We'll watch it tomorrow in slow mo. Okay, three or four times. We'll make up for today. You all be safe out there. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of who you support. Be aware of everything. Don't put out personal information online. Talk your shit and cut out. Don't make it personal. If somebody hurts your feelings, just block them and move on, okay? Thank you so much for all the support, all the super chats. You were all very generous. All of the help. Thank you all. Yeah, it's for, this, for the support. Yes, just for being here yes. for me to uh, vent to today. It's I've appreciated it. We're going to work on this. I need to get a nap. I slept like two hours last yeah. night. <laughs> I might be live later. I'm not totally sure. Thank you so much, Nine Foot Ninja Cat. Thank you, Nine Foot Ninja Cat. I appreciate you. And yeah, we will see you guys um, either later tonight or tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Who do you think you are?